just fourth quarter guy now? Is that just who we should be calling you, fourth quarter PY? No, nah, man, just call me a winner, man. That's all. That's the only title I need. Just call me a winner. <laughs> uh, what goes into just, is it flipping a switch? Is it just, rat, like, what, is it just ratcheting up the intensity? Like, what was said between kind of like the end of third, start of the fourth quarter time where you guys just, like, you went on, like, a 25-3 to three run or something? Yeah, man, I'm one of those guys who can affect the game without the ball, always have been, always will be. And I think that those times where I jump putting everything I can into defense and rebounding and just helping us win, um, I think it just wears the, wears the other team out. And down the stretch in the fourth quarter, that's when my energy just keeps on, keeps on coming. So, um, you know, two good fourth quarters, um, and hopefully I can continue to do it. Can you walk me through the pull-up three in transition? Nobody picked you up. Was there any hesitation going through your head of just walking right into a three? Not, not whatsoever. Um, that's a shot that I work on, and I'm not going to let nobody disrespect my work. Um, I do it too much, too often. And um, it was just one of those things where the game gave me what it gave me, and I took it. Where's your confidence level at? Uh, super high, but that's never been an issue for me. Um, I'm, I'm one of those guys who stays even keel no matter what. I try not to get too high or too low. I know what I could do. I know the work that I put in and the preparation and listening to my guys, my bets. So um, all that combined, you know what I'm saying, it builds, and my confidence keeps growing by the game. What, what's it feel like to get that, those put back? You know, super, super exhilarating is how I describe it. Um, I know I'm going to have some people like, why'd you get so hyped over that putback dunk? Like, it wasn't nothing special. Uh, but I'm the type of guy to do what I feel. Um, it pumped me up. It pumped the crowd up. And I think it kept our team going and kept the momentum high. So I think that was a contributing reason to why we won. Late in the first quarter, you're the roll man, or you're the low man. Aiden rolls to the rim. They throw the lob. You go up and meet it. What, what, what's going through your head there? Honestly, I was mad at myself because I was a little bit late. But those plays are always kind of good and bad because um, you do what you can to make it up. But in this league, it's unforgiving. You know, I could have been on the other end of a poster any given night, you know. So I just went up, tried to make a play on the ball, and I was able to block it successfully. But I was definitely mad at myself because I wasn't in position where I needed to be. How did it feel to see Christian have a game like he did tonight? It, it means the world to me, honestly. Um, it makes it ha happier to see me get – it makes me happier to see him get back in his groove than it does for me to continue my, you know. I think that he's a special talent as well. He's a big piece of our team, and I just want to see him in good spirits at all times. You know, that's when he's playing the best, when he's passionate about the game, when he's playing his heart out when he's playing with no weight on his shoulders. I think that's when he's at his best. So we saw that from him tonight, and we'll continue to see it from him all season. Do you feel like there's been a little bit of a weight on his shoulders just trying to get through whatever he's been getting through lately? I mean, absolutely. You know, this is our career. So, you know, when you feel like as though you're underperforming in your job, um, nobody takes that lightly. This is all our lives. Like, this is all we do. We see each other more than our families. We put everything we got into this. So when it's not going as well as you want it to go, that's obviously going to affect you. But we just try to do our best to keep encouraging them, keep them in high spirits, and you know, let them know that you're still nice, bro. Like, nothing's changed. It's just the ebbs and flows of the season. It's up and down. And I just want them to stay confident and stay, um, you know what I'm saying, ready. A lot of the feds say this is, you know, toughest stretch of the season. People are, are thinking about the All-Star break because it's been you know, such a, a heavy schedule. You as a guy who this is probably as much basketball as you as you played in a long time. Is this a part of the schedule where you're like put more weight on my shoulders and I feel up to help the team through this stretch? Uh, absolutely. Um, for me, I'm not in no rush to get to the break. You know what I'm saying? The break will be nice and I'll enjoy it when it happens. But until the last second of the last game before break, I'm focused on basketball, and that's just how I feel. I can't take my foot off the gas because that's just not how who I am as a person. So I'll be looking forward to the break when it comes, but until then, we got another game. What's up? Uh... Hey, man, it happens to the best of us, dog. <laughs> happens to the best of us. That's all. Thanks, Peyton. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks.